So the third of the big Intamin coasters here is Flying Aces. This is a wing coaster with a cable lift, so it zips you up there really quickly. As with all rides here, lockers are required. Flying Aces. When I came back here four years ago, I had four rides on this and every single one I could only ever get an outer seat and I found it really wobbly. It was fun and enjoyable and intense, but it was hard to fully get the best out of the experience in those seats. And I had two rides, both in the middle, and it is such an improved experience because it's a little bit smoother, it's a little bit more graceful and you just get to enjoy it so much more. So I think that's comfortably the best roller coaster here. There's some really good forces there. It's intense in places. It has one inversion, which is like a heartline roll. It takes that at good speed. Um, yeah, that's a really, really good roller coaster. And the pick of the Intamins here at Ferrari World. The very bright sun is currently sitting right above the lift hill. So as you come out of the dark station and the shutters go up, you go up the lift hill and you just get blinded straight away. So you're up and over that lift hill before your eyes have a chance to adjust. So it is a bit of a sensory overload. So that is something to bear in mind. Um, but I'm looking forward to doing it in the dark. So what I didn't mention about Flying Aces before is it does have an incredibly well themed queue line. You are required to leave all loose items in the lockers, which are just over there. However, they do have places in the station where you can leave small items too. So I'm going to try and take my phone into the queue line just to show you how amazingly themed it is. So onto the phone and into the queue line for Flying Aces. And this is all themed around like sort of 40s and 50s squadrons. It is so cool. I mean, I'm not sure if you can see it, it's quite dark, but there's a crashed plane in a tree there. Such awesome theming. And a little bit of a queue, it did say 15 minutes actually, but they should eat through this in no time. Walking and filming, you're not paying any attention to where I'm going. Which led to me walking into a restricted area and having panicked staff members go, no, no, no. So anyway, yes, rode that with two guys from America who were coaster enthusiasts as well. Uh, so I had a little chat there about coasters and credits and stuff. Really good fun ride. I think Flying Aces is the standout roller coaster here. Um, and while Rossa will always get sort of the headlines, I think that's the yeah, it's comfortably the best roller coaster here. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun, it's intense, without being too much. Yeah, flying aces.